first ever 8 a.m. <sighs> so I am officially done with classes for today. Uh, feels good, although it is gross out. Look at this. It's just like we we're trapped in a dome of clouds. Anyways, um, yeah, I just finished up my computer science class. I had a business class this morning. Um, first week of school, right? Like, first week of school is pretty boring, uh, to be honest. It is nice, though, that this year, uh, this semester, that is, like, all my classes are either specific to my major or to my minor, which is super nice. So I don't have any of these, like, gen eds that I don't really care about but have to take. So that's nice. Like, I'm engaged in all the classes. Um, but, like, in terms of the first week of school, or first week of a semester, you're pretty much going over the syllabus. It's always dubbed the syllabus week. My computer science class that I just came from, that was lab, the first day of lab. And we straight up just did a lab. And there was no, like, hardly any introduction. That's just what we got into. Um, but I think I'm gonna go over some, like, tips and tricks for being successful on your first week of school. Because it can be daunting, it can certainly be daunting. I think is important for kids to do um, the first week of the semester is to one check their email and two check any syllabuses or any like content that might already be provided online from each of your classes um, so usually like I said syllabus week is a real thing but it is nice already knowing certain things when you're walking in the door um, that leads me to number two one thing that I always do which I found um, kind of just starts the semester off on the right foot is when I do walk into a class Almost always, like, I introduce myself to the professor. Number three thing I would say is absolutely know your schedule down pat. So whether they're, like, the big thing I use is I use my Apple Watch, which has all my um, classes loaded onto my calendar, so I get notifications of where to go, when, and I don't have to think about it, whether it's that, whether it's, like, Benny, who has a colored schedule that he makes and he just memorizes that, which is super helpful for him. The calendar, whatever it may be, just know your schedule down pat. And if you don't know your, your campus, like, if it's the first semester of college, I would definitely walk your class schedule, like at least the first day, uh, before the first day actually happens. That way you're not totally lost when you're walking to class, although it's kind of hard to avoid that completely. Number four, I would say, big thing for me is just getting into routine. So one thing that I kind of miss about high school is that every day was very regimented, very much the same. So you don't really have that at college. Um, your schedule can be very different day to day. Uh, so I just like to keep things as similar as I can day to day, whether that means waking up at the same time or like always having um, a workout in per day or like doing something every single day just kind of get yourself in the right mindset of like yeah this is when I'm productive this is when I'm just relaxing that kind of thing one thing I don't suggest doing though is telling your friend you're gonna meet him for dinner and then being 20 minutes late like I am that was really hard I'm sorry I'm sorry are you okay <laughs> So after going to the gym, I grabbed a snack and chilled for a little bit. Then I planned out the rest of my month on my calendar, putting down all the projects and the assignments that I have for all of my classes to stay organized. I gotta say I'm so grateful for all the feedback that I've been getting on the past couple videos. Um, it's just so encouraging to see you guys commenting and asking questions or just liking. It's awesome. It's kind of why I do it. So um, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you tomorrow.